Hello friends, welcome to episode 14. In this video, we are going to see how you can search for cases in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and have a look. So there are three ways in which you can search for cases in Dynamics 365. First is the quick search. So you can search for cases uh, with a keyword in an active view. And by default, the quick search finds the records that start with the keyword. So for example, if you say products, so it will go ahead and look for all the cases um, which starts with uh, the word product. Uh, you can also use wildcard characters to refine the quick search process. So for example, there might be uh, many instances where the keyword that we are looking for is not the starting uh, of the case title, but maybe in anywhere in the middle of the case title. So we can use wildcard characters such as a star a product and then star. Um, so those kind of white cards we can use um, with our keywords, uh, which will give us more uh, dynamic uh, searches. And then the second one is a global search. And now global search, as the name suggests, allows users to search for a keyword at the global level, that is across all the entities. And it returns records from all the entities that matches that keyword. And the filter options are same as the quick search as well. And then uh, there is advanced search, uh, which gives you much more option. Um, so the advanced find, allows users to find records with more options and you can use uh, combinations uh, like and and or conditions and you can also create personal view from advanced find search and you can also save those uh, uh, views it saves time uh, in your day-to-day -day activities so let's go ahead and have a look in dynamics 365 so we are in the Dynamics 365 environment. Let me just click on cases over here. And this will bring up all the list of cases in the system uh, with the view called all cases. Now, if you want to use a uh, quick search, uh, you have to use the option over here, which says search for records. If you want to use global search, uh, there's an option over here. And if you want to use advanced find, uh, there is this funnel icon over here that you can use. So let's just uh, go ahead and see uh, how we can use the quick search option. Um, before I do that, let me just change the view. And the reason behind is, is that I want to show you that irrespective of which view you have selected, um, if you search for, for a keyword, it will go through all the cases and bring up the result. So let's say we want to find um, all the case titles that begin with uh, the keyword uh, product and then click on search. So here you will see that all the cases that begin with the word product are listed over here. But there may be uh, instances where, you know, the case may not begin with the, with the keyword uh, that you're looking for. So in such cases, you can use wildcard characters. So for example, if we say um, star product and let's say star, which means that uh, there can be anything before uh, the keyword product and there can be anything after the keyword product. So it can be anywhere in the case titles. So I want to list all those cases. So if you click on search, the keyword is available in the beginning or in the middle, or it can be anywhere based on the wildcard character that we have selected. So this gives you a much more um, dynamic search uh, results. Now for the global search, you can uh, click on the search button over here so for example if i search for let adventure works and then click on ok so you'll see that it has um, looked for the keyword uh, adventure and has brought in the results uh, from accounts and from contacts and if you want uh, again you can use wildcard characters as well so let me say uh, star adv star and then click on OK. And then you can see that th this again gives a dynamic search across all the entities. Now, if you want to use the filters to say, OK, I just want to see uh, the results um, from contacts, then you can use the filter over here and say filter with contact. 
and it will show you the results only for the context wherever it finds this particular keyword. Now, if you want to be more dynamic and have much more options and create your own views, you can actually click on advanced find over here. Now it gives you a window where you can create a simple or a complex query. You can even edit the columns, provide filtering criteria, and also then click on results to see those results. And you can also save the query as well so that you do not have to create again and again. So over here, we can see what all views are already available for the entity cases. And we can see that there are many system views which are already available like active cases, all cases, and um, so on and so forth. If you want to um, create a, a new view from the scratch, you can select a new over here and then start building your query. But if you want to extend or edit an existing um, view you can select an existing view let's say active cases over here it will show you all the conditions that are already available for example right now the filtering uh, is based on status that means you know this query will uh, show all the cases where status equals active i would like to also include a filtering criteria where case title contains uh, the word uh, let's say product and also use wildcard characters as well. Now, if I click on results, so based on the condition uh, that is status is active and the case title contains uh, the word product, it will give me all the results. Um, I can also use a grouping. For example, um, this grouping is and. So if I group this, you know, select this row and also select this row and group this um, condition like if any one of the condition is is uh, true sh you know show me the result so in that manner also i can see much more results so you will see that there are many more uh, records that are coming in so what you can also do is you can edit columns so over here you can actually um, you know remove the columns or you can add columns as well this gives you uh, much more uh, flexibility of, uh, you know, defining your own views. And once you are OK with the results, you can actually save uh, this view as well. And then this will be available under your personal views and you can use them uh, next time you uh, uh, use the cases in Dynamics 365. And while you are on the views, there is another filtering called column filtering. So for example, over here in this view called all cases, you see that there is um, a funneling icon over here or a filtering icon over here against all the columns. So for example, if you select, um, if you click on this column and say, I would like to um, see all the case titles uh, that contain the term or which starts with um, products and click on apply so it can apply the filter per column and it can display all the results over here so it will show you all the results that contains case title um, which has the term product and then you can apply multiple um, uh, you know, filtering on multiple columns. So for example, in priority, I just want to see only high priority. So you can apply filters on multiple columns and then get the desired results. So this is how you can search and filter uh, for cases in Dynamics 365. Why don't you go ahead and uh, try it out for yourself?